We are back on the ETIS site to see the latest progress and changes. Let's start with a flyover of the ETIS plant systems. These twin buildings house the systems that supply electricity to the magnets. Bus bars, like heavy-duty extension cords, transport the electricity towards the tokamak building over bridges at rooftop level. In the cryo plant, cooling fluids are generated for the magnets, the cryo pumps and thermal shields. Nearly 25 tons of liquid helium at minus 269 degrees Celsius will circulate in the ETA installation during operation. The heat rejection zone will be the ultimate destination for cooling water that circulates throughout the machine and plant to remove the heat generated by operation. Next, let's have an update on the manufacturing of superconducting magnets. In the European winding facility only one poloidal field coil remains to be completed. It still needs to undergo testing in the cold chamber. Three other ring coils are in storage and two have been installed in the tokamak pit, bringing manufacturing nearly to an end. The manufacturing of 19 toroidal field coils has also been completed. All but two are on site, stored in large hangars. The central solenoid, which will stand 18 meters tall when completed, is being assembled on site. Two of six modules are already stacked in the assembly hall. Back on the platform, this construction zone dedicated to neutral beam power supply infrastructure is nearing completion. From the sky it's also easy to spot two large components, the upper cylinder and top lid of the ETA cryostat, which are stored on a protective wrap on the platform. This building, formerly used for the assembly and welding of the cryostat, will be repurposed to accommodate component repair activities, just like this space, in the poloidal field core winding facilities being used for the disassembly of thermal shield sets requiring repair. The assembly hall continues to buzz with activity. As part of the vacuum vessel repair campaign, two vacuum vessel sectors are in various stages of disassembly. The vacuum vessel sector seen here is the one that had to be removed out of the tokamak pit. A third awaits transfer out of the building to the former Chrysler workshop for repair. And for a final flyover, let's travel to the center of it all, the tokamak pit. After the removal of vacuum vessel sector module number 6 for repair, we again have an unhindered view around and into the bottom of the pit. Despite challenges, ITER is making progress towards creating a new carbon-free source of energy.